Back in the day, the coast of South Florida was full of mangroves. Now, environmentalists want to bring them back. The Spoil Islands in Biscayne Bay are success stories for replanting mangroves, which are ecological powerhouses. They provide habitats for fish, store planet warming carbon dioxide, and slow down incoming waves. Right now, we are at the western point of the Venetian Causeway uh, Park. Uh, mangrove planter. This project was completed in the early to mid 1990s and, and, and focused on stabilizing a portion of unconsolidated and eroding fill shoreline using two constructed mangrove planters, planting red mangroves within them and, and leaving areas open for visual access to the waterfront in Biscayne Bay. Um, by, through the stabilization of using um, uh, riprap alone. We're, we're getting ready to land on Crescent Island A, and immediately to the north is Crescent Island B. And, and as you can see here, there's a very well-developed um, community of red mangroves. And on the fringe, what we have is um, white mangrove, uh, green buttonwood, and then we have restored um, native uplands plantings. These islands are very popular for, for recreational activities. Um, un unfortunately, the, um, oftentimes the type and the intensity of that uh, recreational use has an environmental impact um, that, that can manifest in the forms of, form of impacts to vegetation or trash and debris left behind. So most important things that, that, that visitors can do to help uh, preserve and protect these restored areas is to take their trash and their debris with them when they leave or to properly dispose of it, ideally back on the mainland. The benefits of, of, of this project and, and similar projects would be shoreline stabilization, um, protection, restoration, and preservation of, of, of natural habitat features within their historic range, um, habitat for fish and, uh, fish and wildlife, um, and, and, and some performance with respect to water quality improvement.